I. Now you are testing the CT4RK speech processor in the workbench. As you can see, the current is about 110 mA at 30.6 volts DC. And um, as you can see in my scope, you have um, the yellow trace, the yellow trace is input signal, and the red trace is output signal. Now we have the same signal in input in, and the output because the processor is in bypass mode. We have a switch that can switch bypass mode on and bypass mode. Okay, the, at the moment I have a 30 dBm's as you can see 30 dBm's minus 30 dBm's output on the audio precision uh, generator. When I change the amplitude of the signal in input of the, the speech processor, as you can see here, no? in bypass mode, the input and the output change at the same time, as is normal. Okay, but now I'm going to switch on the speech processor. First, I put the, the trace one up the other, and it's okay. No change in phase, no change in phase, but when I switch on the processor, the phase change. Now, the speech processor is on. As you can see in the race in the, in the red trace, the output now it's um, more than the input. I change the I will change the input uh, amplitude now, and you can see the red trace, the output from the processor don't change practically anything. Okay. Now. I have uh, input of about minus 30, 32.09 dBm's. Okay. I go down. As you can see, the yellow trace, the input signal in the processor, and the red signal, it's the output of the processor. The output put is completely fixed and the input is go at this moment minus 51 dBm's 51.33 dBm's and the output is the same is near of the, the noise and now the processor lost lost the, the compression point at minus 57 dBm's as you can see on the, the display of the generator. Now I'm going up to the up to the point when the first amplifier go into saturation and you can see now the input signal it's go up but the output signal stay on the same value you can see the input signal it's very high now but the red trace stay on the same value. You can see now it's the, the, the point of saturation 
because the output clip a little as you can see on the crest of the red sinus this is the point when the first amplifier go into saturation okay well good this is the maximum input signal at half gain as you can see the input signal now it's a 16 minus 16.18 dBms so the output amplitude remain without change between 18 dBms and 55 dBms okay now it's in the point when the, the output starting changing and you can see the 54.46 db minus 54 dBms this is the dynamic range of the, the speech processor CT4RK PWM speech processor okay more I go up and down with the input signal as you can see on the scope the input signal it changed a lot and the output remained the same okay this is in operation and go bypass mode as you can see the output and the input signal it is bypass mode and the operating bypass mode and now going a little output is in the bypass mode you can see in bypass mode now it's minus 45 dBms minus 45 dBms in bypass mode and we have this picture in the scope now I'm going put the speech processor in operation okay as you can see with the speech processor in operation the red sinus, the output signal appear with a good signal, okay? Without any change in amplitude 